from the Handy Hijabis. I hope everybody's enjoyed their summer. We've been busy trying to finish up phase one of our backyard uh, transformation. We have gone from a backyard that's like a desert wasteland to a backyard oasis. It's on its way to a backyard oasis. And I'm very happy to show you the results so far. We still have a lot of work to do. Um, it's not finished, but I think that we've reached the end of what we can do for um, the summer and before we can reach into the colder months. So as soon as the spring comes again, we're going to be working hard to finish up our backyard oasis. When we moved into the uh, house, the existing yard had a large elevated wooden deck that was sturdy and comfortable, but it did not really suit our style and needed regular maintenance. So we, well actually my son, took it down after probably about four years of living here. Um, and it sat like this for almost one year while we figured out what we wanted to do with it. Um, we weren't sure what kind of design we wanted. We toyed with a lot of different ideas. Um, and um, so the backyard was probably useless for a good, almost uh, a good year. We did know that we wanted something that was low maintenance and uh, modern yet simple. I was looking at my ideas and my possibilities through a landscaping um, uh, uh, supply company. I ran into um, a person who does landscaping and he gave me some great advice as to how to design the back and he advised me what would fit into my budget but would also look great um, and this is the de design that he uh, came up with. Follow the design, and uh, this is um, the beginning of the um, contractors installing the framework for the patio in the back. We decided to do um, concrete uh, with a larger patio than was there before, and. Um, what I like about the plain concrete is not only does it look um, simple and stylish, but you can do a lot with it as well. So if I decided that I wanted to stain the concrete to make it less white, then I could do that. If I decided to put a flagstone, um, almost lay down flagstone on top of it, I could do that as well. If I decided to tile it, um, we could do that as well. So there's a lot of possibilities when you have something just basic like the um, the poured concrete that we have here. It's better than, in my opinion, I prefer this to the stamped concrete or the exposed aggregate. Once the concrete was dry, we were able to um, do some landscaping. It's not finished yet. This is as far as we've gotten. We moved some of the uh, trees, some of the cedars, um, planted a few more plants. Um, and now what we need to do is get somebody to level out the backyard where we're going to lay down grass. We do have a little bit of flagstone left as well and what we're going to do with that flagstone is make a little walkway. We also have some concrete pavers in the back as well and uh, my goal is to get a shed in the backyard so we're going to use those concrete pavers for the base of the shed. You probably by this side of the house where there's no gate um, but that's still in the works and um, then, as you remember from the design that we had, um, that we will be installing a pergola. And once that pergola is finished, we will um, begin to um, arrange our furniture and our barbecue and uh, begin to enjoy our backyard. Remember when we were talking about um, painting the garage doors? So if you look at this picture, that's the before of the garage doors. And we decided that we're going to paint the garage doors black. So we actually got a chance to do that, and here is the result. There is, however, still a lot of work to do with um, the front yard. We do have to uh, pave, repave the driveway, and once that's done, we will be able to um, have an elegant look in the front and possibly complete the look in the front. We just have a few more little landscaping jobs in the front that we have to do. And not only that, we do plan to change all of the uh, flashing and the um, east troughs. Um, and hopefully we'll do that on off-white or black. Um, just because the contrast now between the trim and the garage doors and the windows are a little bit too much in my opinion. So we just want to make sure that they match a little bit more so that we can boost the curb appeal of the front of the house. I am looking forward to the spring where we can begin to the final transition of the backyard and the front yard.
Bye for now.